Hey, welcome to Gallup Gardens, where we teach you to grow wholesome, healthy produce uh, on a budget. And guess what we're doing today? We are planting the fall garden, getting all that ready. But in order to do that, we need to chop some corn, do a little bit of mowing, do a little bit of mulching, a little uh, reclamation. I think I mentioned earlier how uh, the garden's gotten way out of hand. And uh, we're still, or I'm still, um, chopping and mulching and composting and all that good stuff. So, without further ado, as far as big knife, pouring down.
All right, guys, if you manage to sit through uh, exactly five minutes of fast motion of me preparing the beds and the garden for fall, uh, you made it this far, probably curious as to what we're planting. So um, I think these are called like Red Ripper, Red Zinger, something cowpeas. Um, we're going to plant a lot of these. Uh, the protein, fast growers, they're used as a cover, cover crop for um, just your fields in general or to attract deer. I bought them from a deer hunting website. Oh, I got a lot, a lot. These are just two samples out of a gigantic bag. Uh, they cost like, uh, gosh, I think I bought 10 pounds, 20 pounds. Cost 20 bucks. But where they get you is the shipping. And I had to pay an arm and all that for shipping. But anyway, good source of protein, nitrogen fixer. And uh, that was the key. So we're gonna plant a whole lot of these, see if we can get them up and get them to produce. Uh, before the frosts come, and if they don't, it's okay. We got a nitrogen fixer and a cover crop. And if they do, also, we're going to have a lot of uh, peas and split pea soup. So, what else do we have here? Um, directly in the ground, we're going to plant radishes August 30th, uh, beets, bears, Battlestar Galactica. That's going in. Late August, 24 August. Direct sell cabbage, turnips, carrots, all heirlooms. Direct sell broccoli, cauliflower, maybe. Yeah, we might direct sell this too. Uh, sell tears. It's kind of like a. Uh, also, we're going to put the cilantro in. Cilantro is a, it's kind of a warm weather food, you know, for Mexican restaurants and while well, you're having your margs and all that stuff. But it's actually a cold weather crop. Um, so we're going to plant those guys. we got a low growth uh, lemon dwarf cilantro. Pretty excited. And then I think the rest of these guys we are going to um, plant in our little planters and then move them on over. Hang out with us. Kohlrabi, Kohlrabi. We're gonna plant some more of these guys. Uh, we finally got them to produce, um, so stay tuned for a video for that, where we, you know, these are probably a direct. Um, anyway, stay tuned. We're gonna make a paleo breakfast casserole with these guys. Yeah, all of these. Um, what else? We Winter greens. Whole bunches of spinach. Our spinach did not do well. In the spring, it got too hot. So hopefully we'll get a, a fall batch. Be a lot better. Giant de Inverno, a flavorful heirloom from Italy, translates to the giant of winter, produces large, broad, deep green leaves well into the fall and winter months. So, sounds exciting. Rocky top lettuce. <laughs> Uh, improved formula blend is now better than ever! Explanation point. Includes some non-listed rare varieties. So in thick bands and cut and come again. So I think that's going to be a direct seed as well. Mustard. Uh, 
uh, meaty umami flavor. Nice. Uh, that's quite tasty. Leaves reach about 12 to 14 inches tall and remain tender even when large. Ideally planted in cool weather. Here's another good one. So mustard and spinach greens. That's exciting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's that uh, parable. You know, if you had the faith of a mustard seed, you could move mountains. And there they are. Guys, I don't know if y'all see that. That's like 30 of them. That was one of my favorite little verses when I was young in high school. Or spinach. We'll try a different variety. A true spinach hailing from Israel, one of the most heat tolerant varieties available. Harvest as baby spinach or use large leaves. So we'll try a few of these because it's still pretty hot here in the summer. Oh, these seeds have little spikes on them. It's really interesting. We had two more cups over here for planting, but maybe Sterling got two. Just a double row of that right there. Have another old guy over here. Okay. Corn salad. Green full heart corn salad. I got a double of this. Tried to plant a pecan in here. Borok and collards. Georgia Southern Creole collards. Uh, Oroch mixed. Aurora mixed Oroch. Colorful native to Western Asia and the Mediterranean. Mix of radiant colors. Red, gold, pink, green. Carmine and pure purple. Oroch thrives in warm to cold seasons and is bolt resistant spinach substitute. So it looks like we should have planted a lot more of this in the spring. But once it gets hot here in Oklahoma, zone 7B, there's no stopping it. It's you can say you're heat tolerant all you want, but you're not. You're not beating that. Okay. Here's one of these guys in here. Ooh. You know what I should do? These are so, these are pretty. So we got the pots up front, and I think we'll save those two, and we'll plant those directly into the pots. Collards. I love collard greens. They're a little bit bigger than mustard seeds. Not much, though. These plants also get massive. Should have probably put the collards into the big pots. The 
but that's okay. So things for the pots, right? Let's um that was a really pretty. Got that ore off. And this rocky top lettuce salad here. We'll put those up front. They'll have nice fall colors. Right? Right on the front door. So we'll put those guys out front. Remember, we direct sowed some of these guys um, into the beds, and they did fine. They really took off. But we'll go ahead and get them going down here. Some beautiful kale. Uh, one's a free seed, Russian Red, or Ragged Jack, and Scarlet. So we're going to plant these in the pots up front. These guys look big. Oh, Brussels sprouts too. journey to figure out what we're not eating, what we are eating. Um, a time of uh, cauliflower, broccoli, you know, we're going to plant a lot of that, we're going to plant a lot more Brussels um, this fall and next spring. I love tomatoes, I plant a ton of tomatoes. The only one that eats the tomatoes. So, maybe less tomatoes next year. Green Mountain Winter. Massive lettuce grown for its large swollen stems. Popular in Southwest China. A fall planted variety, Green Mountain. The Celtus produces jumbo stems that remain crunchy, tender, and juicy as they reach epic proportions. Maybe we could direct sow these in a row. I don't know. But we'll try a few out in the pot and just see what happens. Whoa, got too many there. Leave these under the shade tree. Water them in really good. See what comes up. See what the squirrels do. Oh, I hate squirrels. Uh, what else? We got? Then we're going to direct sow the rest. Tell them what we're doing. We're doing a candle reveal 
Because why, why are we doing it for the family? What's going on? See if you get a baby sister or baby brother? Yeah. Okay, wait. What do you think it is? A boy. A boy? What do you think it is? Girl. Do you think it is Sterling? Okay, okay, what do you think it is? Oh, wait. No, wait. Don't guess. Don't guess. Don't guess. Don't guess. Okay. Do not guess. I forgot. We I, don't, I don't want to assume it's gender. Okay. Whatever. Okay, babe. Twist it the other way. Oh, wait. No. Twist this the way you work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, you made it this far. Thank you. Uh, thank you for checking us out and watching. Um, we're going to uh, direct sew the beds now and do some other stuff. But this video is like, I don't know, 21, 28 minutes. I don't know. It's a long ways. Um, so check us out on the next one. Okay? Please like and subscribe. Thank you.